Welcome to the Purple Plugin. I'm your host, Jackie Wirth. Our program tonight sheds light on a very important department at SBU, safety and security. Joining me is security officer, Richard Wirth. Hey, thanks for coming in. My pleasure. So what exactly do you do? Uh, as a safety and security officer, uh, I oversee all issues of safety and security. Uh, that means uh, we conduct pat patrols, uh, in the truck and on foot. Uh, we open up all the academic buildings and close them down every day. We check the dorms. We deal with issues that pop up like today. Uh, a lady called from the uh, student union and said there was a bat that was terrorizing people. So <laughs> I, I had to go and take care of the bat. I'm not really sure. I was never trained for no. bat handling. Anyway, but uh, you know things like uh, Handing out tickets, oh. that's everyone's favorite, right? Uh, and, and just uh, fire extinguisher checks and, and just making sure everything's safe. What equipment do you have? Uh, the primary piece of equipment is the truck. And I spend a lot of time in the truck. Uh, and I drive a lot. We, I'll go 50 to 70 miles wow. per shift, yeah. Uh, and and that, that's the main thing. That's the most visible portion of our equipment. Uh, we have a big old set of keys oh. that we carry around with us. Yeah, I counted once. There are actually 8,000 keys on there. No. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> there are a lot of keys on there. Um, and we have a, a belt that has all our keys, and uh, we have tasers. Everyone likes the tasers, I guess. I think we have a picture of the taser. Yeah. Oh, that's not what a taser looks like. Uh, that's what a taser feels like. Uh, that's awful. Uh, as part of our training, we had the opportunity to actually get uh, a taste of what the taser is like. Oh, no. uh, yeah, yeah, it wasn't. All right, so they, they subjected me to this. I, 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 I was tased uh, in my leg, and I can, this is my, the best way to describe it is it felt like my femur was trying to eat its way out of my leg. <laughs> It was, uh, it was a bad day. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> okay, um, I think we have one more piece of equipment. How exactly do you get those oh. on your belt? Look, that's the most important piece of equipment. That, and you, you can't do your job without, and, and yes, yes, it ends, every single one of those ends up hanging over my belt, I promise you. <laughs> what is your relationship with the police department? We have a good relationship with the police. Uh, uh, we, we, we work with each other very easily. Uh, if, if they have an issue, they will sometimes uh, call us. Uh, for example, if they're looking for someone, uh, we, we can help them, you know, we help them with that. A anytime we need their assistance, they show up. Um, we, we also have a, a scanner in the truck. Oh. So we can, even before they call us, sometimes we know what's going on. And mm -hmm. uh, there have been times when we've been able to call and say, I know you're looking for a male subject with this description. And we've spotted them, and, and we were able to, to direct them to where the, the location is here. Oh, wow. It's time to take a break. We'll be right back after this message. Son, that looks great. Thanks, Dad. But you know what's even better than getting our project done? What's that? Getting to build our relationship. Aw, oh, Dan. For more information on Father-Son Saturdays, visit us at our website at www.project3-10.org. Project 310, Building Men. Welcome back to the Purple Plugin. I'm here with Richard Worth, Security Officer at SBU. So I understand you work the night shift. What is that like? Uh, I, I like the night shift. Uh, I'm naturally a night owl, so it's really not a, a problem for me staying up 
all night. I, I would probably be doing it anyway. Uh, it's for me. It's very peaceful. Uh, it's it's tranquil. There's not a lot going on. Uh, I don't have to handle a lot of emergencies in the middle of the night. So that's a good thing for me. Uh, I mean, the, my biggest problem will be like fleeing the skunks, you know, oh. something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and how long have you been working at SBU? Two years now. Two years. Are there any unusual experiences that you've had? Uh, let's see. Uh, there was a time we had a fatality on campus. Really? Yeah, we had a police-involved shooting. It was very exciting. Um, a male subject was running across uh, Springfield Avenue uh -huh. and got hit by a car. And the impact tossed him up onto our property. And the police responded. And uh, the subject was obviously badly wounded, uh, broken leg, couldn't move. So they went up and boom, they took care of him. What? Yeah, uh, it was a deer. Oh. <laughs> uh, the police, so the, we're, here we are with the police, and the, you know, they didn't really know what to do with the deer. And so uh, one of the other security officers uh, took custody of the deer, who turned out to be delicious, I am told. <laughs> Any other experiences? Uh, well, you know, the, 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 probably the most uh, intimidating and ongoing problem is the skunks, especially mm -hmm. in the summer. Skunks are everywhere. They have no respect for the law. They just come onto our, we don't, we don't have too many problems. There, there was a time when all of a sudden the truck started acting kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, kind of, kind of took on an ominous air to it. I think we have a yes, picture, we have of a that. picture of that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of scary. Pretty scary. I... <laughs> it started um, laughing. I'm telling you. Cars you, shouldn't laugh. Do you have any advice? I'm sorry, for Richard. Students? No, I'm not. I will laugh all I want. <laughs> wow, that's some experience. Yeah, it's some truck. Do you have any advice for students? Advice for students, eat your veggies. <laughs> well, the Stay in school. The safety and security department is located off campus. Leave the skunks alone. At the physical plant I know Aldrich you want to tackle a skunk. That's all the time we have for now. Don't mess with the skunks, I'm telling you. I'd like to thank Richard for coming in. And thanks for watching. We'll see you skunks next time. Skunks are people too.